Good morning, Dopey, and welcome to another episode of Good Morning, Dopey. My name is Dave, and we do our deep and shallow dive into the great book of Daily Reflections. And today we are joined by a big-time actor, movie star, TV star, co-star of HBO's Righteous Gemstones, Dopey guest, Tony Cavallaro. Welcome. Hey, bud. How you feeling? I'm doing great, dude. How are you? I'm good. He's skiing in Tahoe. He's 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 chilling in, in Sacramento. How are you? What's happening, dude? Same old, same old. Uh, my in-laws got a new dog, so I'm looking over him right now. Nice dog. Yeah, he's a sweet boy. You got you want to see him? Yeah. Okay, come here, bud. They still haven't decided on a name yet, but he's a real cute guy. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. We're just about like to get a dog, I think. Yeah, he's in here with me, honey. I would name the dog Sirius Black. Ooh, we were thinking we're in between Dude and Timber. Dude and Timber. I go Dude every time. I like Dude, right? Dude's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Dude. Yeah, I love it. Ready? So, are you ready? Are you ready to yeah, give your analysis reflect. of today? Today is January twenty-six, and our daily reflection is rigorous honesty. You ready? Yeah, let's dude. do it. Dude, dude, shh. dude. He sees himself um, in the mirror. Nice. So let's get rigorously honest with ourselves. All right, here we go. Who wishes to be rigorously honest and tolerant? Who wants to confess his faults to another and make restitution for harm done? Who cares anything about a higher power, let alone meditation and prayer? Who wants to sacrifice time and energy in trying to carry AA's message to the next sufferer? No, the average alcoholic self-centered in the extreme, doesn't care for this prospect unless he has to do these things in order to stay alive himself. I am an alcoholic. If I drink, I will die. My, what power, energy, and emotion this simple statement generates in me. But it's really all I need to know for today. Am I willing to stay alive today? Am I willing to stay sober today? Am I willing to ask for help? And am I willing to help another suffering alcoholic today what i have discovered or have i discovered the fatal nature of my situation what i must do to, what must i do today to stay sober tony cavallero and the dude yes um what did you get out of that one man well i uh <laughs> <laughs> I I I live by the by the prospect of staying rigorously honest. I I am often self-centered in the extreme. It's very easy to forget about the other, but I know I, I don't do the daily reflections because I'm doing service. Originally I did it because I thought it was like a good YouTube concept, which it isn't. And now I do it because like I'm so fucking compulsive I can't stop doing it. However, you were doing it to help me. So you were really practicing this daily reflection better so than dude, me. I think it, it's all in the service, man, you know? And uh, for me, it's not only being of service to others, but um, in order to be of service to others, I have to first be of service to myself. So for me, that means daily 10 steps and fearless so I can get out of here and go out there and be of service to others. And in order to do that, I got to be rigorously honest, you know, whether it's a resentment or a fear, um, you know, and then that's kind of like, you know, dealing with whatever defects of character we're dealing with and then uncover and discard those suckers so we can go out and, and be a service Nice. Others. That's picking up the phone. That's doing the dishes. That's, you know, talking to the newcomer, whatever it may be. But first things first, we got to get rigorously honest where we stand. Because if we're in fear or pissed off or anxious or resentful, we can't do anything for anyone else. Right. And, and to be of service 
you know, you're helping somebody and then even the act of helping them is helping you. I heard someone say at my meeting fairly recently that whenever they go out into the world, they think of what they can bring to the situation. And I've never been selfless like that. But I know when she goes out into the world to bring something, she gets something back from what she gives. And it just made me think that that giving and receiving is very much like breathing. Like if you breathe out, you breathe in and and you doing this to help us is hopefully helping somebody else. And you're going to get off the phone and be like, oh, I just helped this weird podcast and and everyone, you're going to feel good and everyone's going to feel good. So the circle of, of goodness goes around. Hey man, it's all about carrying the message, dude. You you got it, dude. Thank you so much. I I think your wisdom is very beautiful. You look great. The orange pants are happening, and uh, right, dude. New Lululemons. Yeah, I think it's all right. The, the dude approves. Fucking, uh, I, I interview. Look at this guy. Look at this guy looking at himself in the mirror. Wow. Barking at himself in the mirror. He's he's a wonder. That's a psychedelic dog moment. Let's see that again. Can we see that again, please? Dude, we can all learn from this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Take I think you just He's practicing rigorous honesty with himself and wondering he he, how he Who wind up. I? Yeah, how did I wind up in this dog's body? He's fucking <laughs> bugging out. Amazing. Thank you very much. Thanks, Dave. Bye bye. Have I'll a wonderful day. Time. Right on. Thanks, Tony. Appreciate it. Have bye. fun.